Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Bold and the Beautiful Teasers, Deacon Sharp will continue to be involved in this summer's hottest mystery plot and face more surprises at Il Giardino. But as it turns out, since he recently had rotator cuff surgery, C. Khan has also been dealing with some turmoil in real life. In addition to posting a unique video greeting for all of his adoring followers, Kanan broke the news on social media. Kanan stated in the video that the physician informed him the surgery went really well. All that remains is to wait and watch. Seeing Kanan wants to express his gratitude to everyone for their support, as it means the world to him in the meantime. It appears that my primary concern at the moment is having arguments with my spouse on not returning to work immediately and finishing tasks, Kanan stated. Kanan also mentioned how his doctors had given him a nerve blocker, and he made a joke about how tough he looked once it wore off. Kanan is keeping a beat and in high spirits for the time being. Kanan continued, to be completely honest, I feel great right now and I can't wait to start physical therapy and get well. Kanan reiterated at the end of the video how much the generosity of everyone has meant to him. We wish Kanan a quick recovery and are happy to hear that his operation went as planned. Kanan's schedule will undoubtedly be accommodated by B&B &B as long as he gets in the physical treatment he indicated. As Kanan works to recover, let's hope things keep going well for him. Regarding the events taking place at Il Giardino, the mystery will reveal some breathtaking scenes that Deacon never expected. In that video, Kanan said that the surgeon told him the procedure went really well, so now they just have to wait and see. In the meantime, seeing Kanan wanted to thank everyone for all the support since it means the world to him. Seems like my biggest issue right now is fighting with my wife about not jumping back into work right now and getting things done, Kanan said. Kanan also talked about his medical team giving him a nerve blocker and joked about seeing what a tough guy he was when that wore off. For now, Kanan is in good spirits and staying positive. Honestly, right now I feel really good and, you know, eager to start my physical therapy and get on the road to healing, Kanan added. As Kanan wrapped up the video, he once again expressed how everyone's kindness has meant the world to him. We're certainly glad to hear that Kanan's surgery went according to plan and wish him a speedy recovery. B and B will no doubt be willing to work with Kanan's schedule as he fits in that physical therapy he mentioned. Let's hope things continue to go well for Kanan as he tries to bounce back. As for what's playing out at Il Giardino, the Hood unit will bring some stunning moments that Deacon never saw coming. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Deacon and Sheila Sharp will have to deal with some burning questions, so stick with us for more predictions on the chaos and updates on how it'll affect them as a couple. Stay tuned for further updates on how the commotion will affect Deacon and Sheila Sharp as a relationship, as well as predictions about what questions Deacon and Sheila Sharp will have to address in light of the bold and the beautiful spoilers. According to Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers for this Friday, July 12, Luna Nozawa will get a very important present from Bill Spencer as they continue to grow closer. Could Bill give Luna a sword necklace next? He just stated that he wants her to have everything that comes with being a Spencer. Bill has also just verified that Luna is still in favor of the adoption, so that's another option to think about. Bill's donation might be evidence that he is starting that crucial step if he'd already got the paperwork completed. Speaking of proof, a ton of letters hidden in Paul Hollis Hollister's backpack appear to indicate that he has just discovered proof of Tom Starr's former affair with Poppy Nozawa. After reading those letters more closely, Hollis could conclude that Tom mistakenly believed he was Luna's father. Of course, it's possible that Tom's rucksack has other mysteries that will come to light. Lee Finnegan and Jack Finnegan will both return on Friday's B&B &B show. In the meantime, 
It will be intriguing to watch how precisely Lee and Jack figure into this Hwajunit since they will both withhold information from John Finn Finnegan on the events of the night of Tom's death. But there's more twist in store for this summer mystery. There are indicators of impending problems at Il Giardino, such as the strange flickering of the lights in the supply closet. Someone could decide that Tom isn't going to survive to tell the story now that Hollis has found Tom's backpack and has the potential to reveal the information within. Is Hollis going to be the next corpse discovered at the restaurant? According to the weekly teaser video for the episode, we anticipate a disconcerting cliffhanger for Sheila Sharp. Shala is about to discover something startling on the floor behind the bar, and she's very sure it's Hollis's body. That's one option to consider, but Bill also just confirmed that Luna is still on board with the adoption. If Bill already had the paperwork drawn up, then his gift might be proof that he's getting the ball rolling on that important step. Speaking of proof, Paul Hollis Hollister seemingly just found evidence of Tom's star-sold romance with Poppy Nozawa since tons of letters were stashed in his bag. Hollis may take a closer look at those letters and could potentially realize that Tom thought he was Luna's father. Of course, there could be other secrets contained in Tom's backpack that'll be revealed as well. Meanwhile, Jack Finnegan will make another appearance on Friday's B&B &B episode, and so will Lee Finnegan. Both Lee and Jack will hide certain things about the night of Tom's demise from John Finn Finnegan, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how they fit into this Hodunit story. However, this summer mystery is about to come with another curveball. The lights have been flickering ominously in the supply closet, so there are warning signs about the trouble that's brewing at Il Giardino. Now that Hollis has discovered Tom's backpack and could spill the secrets inside, someone may decide he can't live to tell the tale. Will Hollis become the next deceased body to turn up at the restaurant? However, this summer mystery is about to come with another curveball. The lights have been flickering ominously in the supply closet, so there are warning signs about the trouble that's brewing at Il Giardino. Now that Hollis has discovered Tom's backpack and could spill the secrets inside, someone may decide he can't live to tell the tale. Will Hollis become the next deceased body to turn up at the restaurant? Based on the show's weekly preview video, our predictions point to a disturbing cliffhanger moment for Sheila Sharp. Shayla is on the verge of finding something that shocks her on the floor behind the bar, and there's a good chance it'll be Hollis' corpse. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Shayla will scream over what she spots, so stay tuned for updates on the horrible news ahead. Based on the show's weekly preview video, our predictions point to a disturbing cliffhanger moment for Sheila Sharp. Keep checking back for updates on the terrible news that's coming since spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Sheila will scream over what she sees. According to the weekly teaser video for the episode, we anticipate a disconcerting cliffhanger for Sheila Sharp. Sheila is about to discover something startling on the floor behind the bar and she's very sure it's Hollis's body. Keep checking back for updates on the terrible news that's coming since spoilers for The Bold and The Beautiful indicate that Sheila will scream over what she sees. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.